Hello, YouTube family. I'm going to give you all some encouragement from Dawn's newsletters. I've been saving them up. I had to end up deleting seven in a row. I just got so overwhelmed from trying to get emails done. And then I wanted to make those videos, you know, from one here and one from this one or all of this one. I finally said, Lord, I've got to just delete them and start all over. So anyway, different parts of different ones. Okay, there's three of them here. I'm going to start from the oldest. I believe this is my oldest one. Yeah, I got this one on January the 24th. And I want to start with the trumpet by Bill Burns. He always calls his little messages the trumpet. All right. Gird up the loins of your mind. Now, this is a word from the Lord. Gird up the loins of your mind. Because as you think, as you think in your heart, so you are. You will become that which you are meditating on. But you can move into what I am doing as you begin to believe and process the word that I reveal to you. I will direct you and be with you from this moment on. Begin to believe my word. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to back it up. I will direct you and be with you, period. From this moment on, begin to believe my word and you will excel in this season, says the Lord. I am afraid we have too many people that do not believe in certain parts of the word, such as prophecy, the gifts of the Spirit, praying in tongues. These are things that no longer exist, they say. Well, I beg to differ. It's in the word of God, and it still stands. He did not give a gift just for the apostles. And then when they died, oh my... No one else gets to have those gifts. Can you believe that? It's actually taught. Okay. All right. This one is Small Straws and a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. As always, I suggest if something doesn't sit right with your spirit, take it to the Lord. Search the Word of God if you need to, because this one has a scripture with it. But um, we all know that some messages don't end up coming to pass the way we think they should. But uh, so let's just not stop believing in prophecy because that would be wrong. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Because of prolonged isolation... Many have experienced a negative impact on your mind and spirit as you feel cut off from what you consider normal. You must set a watch and prepare to stand against anxiety and depression. I also speak to those who are prone to substance abuse to resist and keep yourself in a place of mental and emotional well-being and safety. You are well able to overcome by the power of the Holy Spirit, but you must choose to do so. Everything in life is a choice, just like the vaccine. You've heard all about it, and if you choose to take it, you know what that means. Okay, this is the verse she puts with her, uh, what she got after she received this word. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's one of my favorites. 
Now, this one is a word from someone that frequently puts, they might have even put this up on 444 Prophecy News. If you go there and read them, you might be familiar with Victoria Ang, A-N-G. She received this on January 21st, 2021. A uh, word from the Lord, she starts it out. My children, I am in control of all things. Three exclamation points. My ways are higher than yours. Stay in prayer and keep your mind and heart on me. Do not be swept away by disappointments and worry over what you thought should take place in this current election. I work all things together for good to those that love me and are called according for my purpose. Learn to let go and let me be in control. When you try and take control of things, you give way for the enemy to enter your life, to cause your own downfall, because you make yourself God. It is I, the great I am, that sits on the throne and sees all things from a heavenly perspective. I see every evil plot and plan. I see every good intention on earth. No man nor woman knows all. Boy, that's the truth. I am that I am and will never change. Learn to trust me in all ways. And in all things and circumstances, prayers can move mountains. Prayer can change outcomes. My children must work in unity in prayer so that my hand can move to help make the needed changes. Do not... Give up hope. Keep your belief and trust in me. Let me pause. Let me throw something in real quick. When you pray, make sure you add, if it be your will, Father, let it be, whatever the thing is. Because when you pray, your will be done. You might, you might not add that part, but you're thinking it. I want to say the presidential election. You wanted Trump to remain president, but it wasn't God's will. We have to have the seventh king in power for a very short time in order for the Antichrist to take over right after the first fruits rapture. All right, so if Trump had gotten back in, he could have been in another four years. He couldn't have been shot. He's only the sixth king. I thought he was the seventh and that he would, he would have been assassinated like two, three years ago. That's what I thought, but I'm fallible. I never prophesied that, by the way. I never received that from the Lord. That's just what I thought would happen because people were saying that Jimmy Carter was the first king, but he wasn't. It was, it was Ronald Reagan. And how they started, I, I don't remember. I'm, I'm wanting to say it. he was the first one that let them change his DNA. And from then on, every president had to have their DNA changed. Anyway, it was Reagan, um, the first Bush, Clinton, the second Bush, Obama. 
Obama was five. Then Trump. Trump was six. So now Biden is supposed to be number seven. But he only for a very short time. And when he becomes nowhere to be found, Barack Obama will make the announcement according to the prophecy from Edward Unling. Uh, that's all I have to say about him right now because I, I can't get into explaining the things that didn't make sense about him. My brain cannot pull up all the stuff I learned lately. Okay. Do not give up hope. Keep your belief and trust in me. The enemy is counting on those that want to give up hope, trusting in me and my ways so that he can have his way in your life. Keep trusting me. Stay focused only on me, not veering to the left nor right, lest you stumble and fall. Take firm hold of my hand and I will lead you over the treacherous path ahead. So that could be for the left behind. It will be treacherous, but you do not have to take the V. You can make it, even if you lose your job, even if you lose your home. He's provided safe havens for people like that, that get pressured into taking it. Um, that's why I guess people have been getting messages. Wouldn't it make sense why they were telling you to stock up food and water, uh, survival needs? People been harping on survival needs and I thought, well, they, they must not believe in the rapture. And I thought, well, of course there's two and not very many go the first round. So anyway, that's the end of the word from the Lord. But the scriptures, now listen to the scriptures that she added or found was led to. However, she they don't usually put that. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. You just have to stay in prayer a lot. First Chronicles 10, 13. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it. You see, that's the end. That's all she put was First Chronicles 10, 13. You might want to look that up and read a little further into it. So one of his transgressions that he committed against the Lord is he kept, uh, uh, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit. To inquire of it. You don't ever want to get into the occult to find out what's going to happen. Never, never, never. Isaiah 30, 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. Isaiah 58, 11. It sounds like King James Version, even though she didn't say. Yeah, it's at the bottom. Okay, where was I? Isaiah 58, 11. And the Lord shall guide thee continually 
and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones. See, he will provide for you. And thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. John 16, verse 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Yep, he will show you things to come. That's talking about prophecy. Either in a dream, a vision, or a message. He will show you things to come. Or through scripture. He'll open your eyes and you'll read something and go, Oh, that's a prophetic verse. That's something that's going to happen again. See, a lot of the prophecy in the Old Testament, it has come to pass, but it's a double prophecy. It's going to come to pass again. Okay, one more. No, there's two more. First Thessalonians 5. 16 and eight through 18. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Romans 8, 5 through 28. And she didn't spell it out, so that's for you to look up and read. Romans 8, 5 through 28 she put KJV but if I use the NASB and there have been errors found in the King James Version and I don't think there's any more errors in the NASB so I'm going to read what's easier for me to understand you do what you feel convicted to do okay alright I'm going to end this one here and I'll probably do the other two in the morning I I don't know. I have so many emails I've got to get through. So I don't want to leave anybody hanging if I can help it. Okay? So I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the messages that were received through it and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I will say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.